Good morning, fans. Privateer FX coming at you on a Tuesday, 13th of October. Uh, feels like it should be the Friday, the 13th. After that move on S and P's yesterday, 78 handles, top to toe. Here it is, right here in all of its glory. Many, many humans were fucked on this move. Um, really stunned me. Not the end of my world or anything, but uh, wow. Caught me off guard, which I think it caught a lot of people off guard. Fourth straight up day and a real, real big one on a U.S. holiday. Uh, so basically, what does that mean? It just means that uh, tactical traders got short, left tight stops, got stopped out, got short again, left tight stops, got stopped out. Um, there was a real battle up there at 3530, which we had as a very key level. Um, the high ended up being 41. So like many, um, our tactical book got taken out. I assume a lot of other people did as well. Uh, I don't know what that means going forward except for the fact that that kind of buying at this point in the market, a little bit spooky, um, but wow, what a uh, heck of a day in equities. Currencies, it was all about dollar China. Uh, we're going to be focusing on that again today uh, as soon as I can find it. We've been up to um, 176.50 already, and... That was a bit of a zinger up there. Maybe that was Tokyo Open. I don't even know. Maybe Open in Shanghai. Not super uh, experienced trading dollar CNH, but the story is um, very, very strong. With this gap down here after a big move down, news driven, um, fiscal news driving this bus. You just want to try and collect this. You see, it's pretty hectic, right? Um, yesterday we went from 74, 674, back down to 671. Today we're at 676. <clears throat> Will we get back down to 672? Probably. So, um, you know, you take a wide berth on this, uh, but you want to collect dollar China for a move back to say, I don't know, 680. Um, so you got a good percent here, uh, target check your risk reward check your check your ratios for those of you who uh, have talked to me about trading you know what I mean uh, your ratios how much you're risking to how much you need your reward this is the only real number this is the magic number that really just sort of decides whether you're successful or not as a trader uh, we won't get into that now though euro also having trouble going up a lot of it is because of dollar china i think could also be um markets caught long a little bit of euros um who knows we got zew today which no one really cares about uh, final cpi in germany just kind of got to watch these things remember the industrial production numbers last week um really caused a jump in the euro um, so we just got to keep a quiet eye on these UK stuff. We also have some numbers out. Average hourly index. Uh, so inflationary stuff, claimant count, employment stuff. Um, but Euro is having trouble. This looks like a trap down here at 86. So we're just watching this. We don't, you know, we're trading the dollar China, which is kind of the same trade, but Euro looks like it's having trouble going up. Cable also did a bit of a shocker at the 130.83. They're going to get a deal done. Everyone kind of knows that now. Uh, so what you kind of want to do in cable, which is incredibly difficult, is fade the headline bad news. So some, you know, some butt fuck guy is going to say, oh, it's not going so well. Bang. Uh, and then uh, just fade that because they're going to get a deal. It's going to be some sort of, you know, shit sandwich compromise, uh, kick the can down the road kind of a thing. It's going to be sort of unclear. 
um, but the last thing these two countries or these you know the bloc in Europe and the UK need right now in midst of all this COVID crap is um, some sort of trade war so I, I'm, I'm betting they're going to get a deal uh, long cable is the way dollar Swiss no real idea um, might go higher if euro goes lower but you know very 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 muted vol here uh, dollar Swiss dollar yen we like um, lower actually um, heading into the election we feel like this is a possible horse uh, two big red days there you might want to sell this sort of between 55 and 75 today dollar yen low vol uh, hard to trade dollars are an old favorite of ours not doing anything down here uh, leaving it alone for now dollar mix also leaving it alone the risk on these is way lower uh, if this dollar if this sort of Biden landslide dollar sell trade gets some legs and equities remain buoyant dollar EM is going to get slaughtered uh, we're always uncomfortable on that side of this trade so we had to sort of tighten up our biases our cognitive biases and, and uh, take a look at this but 2082 is not going to happen today <clears throat> dollar czar uh, 1608 is not going to happen today so we're just watching for now Aussie this is a dollar China driven trades just lower right um, also China said they're gonna stop using Aussie coal it's a bit of a ball kick uh, for the Aussie economy don't want to be long Aussie uh, today where do you sell I don't know this isn't gonna get flushed especially with equity so bid but uh, I don't know, you probably sell up at the figure, sort of trade it, trade around it for some pips. Nothing super exciting. Aussie yen, as you can imagine, we're bearish. If we're bearish Aussie dollar and bearish dollar yen, we're bearish Aussie yen. But again, so many conflicting stories out here. Um, try and just grab for pips. Dollar CAD, still on its knees, can't bounce for shit. 45 traded I can see that there was some highs here at 43 this is your consolidation do we pop higher eventually I don't know does not going up well at all is it dollar cad dollar cad looks very weak dollar turkey still on its way to 10 uh, we got up to 95 printed down to 83 we don't trade this regularly um, for just for reasons that my firm's not my firm gets a bit nervous with dollar turkey um, so just watching this but this thing uh, they're so screwed there man a little bit of unwind in gold now we're in this meaningless 1917 what do you do here uh, how do you create a risk reward trade you don't you just you gotta watch and wait. Um, I have no idea why ZB traded up to 174.20. Uh, as everybody knows, we're short this stuff. Um, the tactical book sold right around here, uh, 09 yesterday. This should head lower eventually uh, if we're right. Bitcoin zipped up there to 11.7. A lot of people are talking about how Bitcoin is useless. Bailey, the Bank of England chair, was like, he doesn't, I don't understand the intrinsic value of Bitcoin. Um, I don't think anybody understands the intrinsic value of Bitcoin, which makes it incredibly hard to trade. It's just a technology story. Um, you could say it might be sort of a uh, value storage. Uh, people who are worried about money supply and I guess technically criminals um, probably use this instrument to um, to store some of their money allegedly although I don't understand how that why or how that's a good place because of the ledger 
but we'll get into that some other day. But we like Bitcoin. Nothing to do here. Just dancing around, uh, but dancing around at higher levels. Crude, as Libya opened, reopened their oil fields. Crude went lower. Um, not much to do here. A couple lows here at 39 cents, at $39. Uh, we'll see what happens with crude. Our main focus, uh, again, in the currency space is dollar China. Uh, trying to collect longs, trade it from the long side. Uh, target sort of 680. We will be watching uh, Euro. We will not be selling through these edges here, these range edges at all, but we will be watching it. Maybe we might want to actually try and buy some on some sort of extension today, but it's pretty fluid. The main focus is, is Dollar China for us here today. That's all I got for you. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you uh, tomorrow.